Hello everyone, my name is Nisha and I am the Yogic Amnesiac. So some of you guys said you wanted to hear about my experiences with aerial yoga, so that's what this video is going to be about. I haven't actually started doing much aerial yoga yet, I'm doing a lot of preparing, but it seems like that's really important to be well prepared for aerial yoga, though most instructors will start you out kind of low and understand that you might not be ready to get entirely into it yet. Either way, I really wanted to get prepared, work on my upper body and core, um, so we're going to talk about that. Keep in mind, I'm not an aerial yoga instructor, so I'm not trying to advise anyone on proper techniques or things that they should do. I'm just going to tell you guys about my experiences and how it's going for me. So this video should be pretty short since there's not too much to talk about, but it's pretty interesting either way, and I think it'll be full of things that maybe you can't even apply to other things you're doing. So let's get started. So aerial yoga takes a lot of upper body and core strength, especially for more advanced poses. Obviously, I'm not going to start out by doing the most difficult poses, but I wanted to be prepared and I didn't want to do anything that would hurt myself. While aerial yoga will develop your upper body strength and your core strength, and I have pretty decent core strength, I don't have a lot of upper body strength. And the last thing I want to do is hurt myself or like hurt my shoulders or anything like that. So I've decided first before I do anything, I'm doing a lot of core and upper body yoga. That's one thing I really wanted to focus on. I'm pretty sure I have the flexibility to be able to get into some poses comfortably, but I'm worried about strength and supporting myself and getting out of poses safely and not having to fall out of a hammock or something like that. Another thing I've been doing is a lot of research online. Like I said, I'm not an aerial yoga instructor. I don't think I even know any aerial yoga instructors, so I have to go to the internet and look at what all sorts of people are saying. One of the most common things I've heard people say is that it takes a lot of strength and you'll probably feel really, really sore afterwards, but I'm still really excited to do it. One thing I've learned is that aerial yoga has a lot of inversions. While you, there are a lot of like standing poses, upright poses, poses where you're on the ground and you're using the hammock to support you or help your pose, there's also a lot of upside down, hanging around, doing, you know, a seated pose that you would normally do seated on the ground upright, you do it upside down. So that sounds really interesting, but it sounds like that leads to things like you can be lightheaded, you can be dizzy. I've heard people say things like they feel like they have the flu after class, apparently. So that sounds really weird. I'm kind of curious what that even is. I don't really want to feel that, but, you know, I'd be interested to know what it even is. So I do have an aerial hammock, and I'm pretty excited to try this. I'm going to start out with more simple poses, basic poses, probably poses where I'm on the ground and using the hammock to support myself, rather than getting full on into the hammock and doing inversions where I'm hanging and I don't really understand the hammock. I first want to understand how to use the hammock safely before I start doing things like those shoulder stands where you wrap yourself in the hammock and you're literally just hanging from your shoulders and your head is hanging out. I, you know, don't think that's something I should jump straight into. I don't know if you've seen those pictures, but there are these people who do like shoulder stands in the hammock and it's like wrapped around their shoulders and their feet are in the air and their heads are hanging out the bottom of the hammock. I'm not going to try that kind of thing the first day. I need to figure out how the hammock works, how my body is going to respond to the hammock, figure out what I need to strengthen, because doing poses like that, if I did end up falling out, I could really hurt myself. So we're going to avoid poses like that until further notice. So that's about it. I guess the biggest thing for me is that I'm scared of not being physically prepared and hurting myself, but that's why I'm trying to take it really slowly and be really prepared. But I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I've always been fascinated by the circus, and I think it's really cool. So this might kind of inspire me, and it'll be sort of like doing that, but a lot safer and in the comfort of my own home, and I'll be prepared. There are a ton of resources online about aerial yoga. If you're interested in reading more about it or checking out what the experts say and instructors say or people with experience have to say, there's absolutely places you can go and see what they feel, how their experiences were, and maybe you'll even be curious and you'll want to try it. You can buy hammocks online. They're kind of expensive, but, you know, what do you expect? You don't want something that's going to rip on you. 
So please leave a comment down below if you've ever done aerial yoga or if you're even interested in doing aerial yoga. I really want to know people's experiences or what they think about it. It looks super cool. So let's totally start a conversation. I'll be super happy to reply to any comments and we'll talk about it in the comments down below. Don't forget to like this video. It really helps me out and lets me know if you want to see this kind of stuff. If you liked seeing me talk about aerial yoga and you want to hear about my experiences and if I fell on my head or if I got motion sick, then totally give this a like and I will let you know the next video that I put up about this. Won't be next week. will probably be the week after next or something like that. But uh, I'll try to release them every once in a while so that you guys know, but you're not getting too much aerial yoga. Don't forget to subscribe, it's the best way for YouTube to let you know if I've released any new videos. Have fun flying!